we are now going to work on aligning objects. Say you got a bunch of fence posts you made and you need them all to line up with each other. Or you need to align your artwork to the center of a poster. Illustrator makes it easy to align or distribute multiple objects relative to each other, the artboard, or a key object. In this section, you'll explore the different options. Bing, just got an email. You'll explore the different options for aligning objects. One way to align objects is to each other. This can be useful if, for instance, you want to align the top edges of a series of selected shapes to each other. Next, you'll align the white dot shapes to each other. Choose three pieces from the artboard navigation menu. Three pieces. Choose select and then dots down here. Remember when we named that one a little while ago? To reselect the white shapes on the three pieces artboard, click the vertical align button in the properties panel on the right. And that one looks like that one. See where it says vertical align center? That's the one we want to click. Look at there. Whew, straighten them out. That's just lovely. Notice that all the selected objects move to align to the vertical center of the shapes. The horizontal spacing between them is still not the same, but you can fix that in a few sections using distributing. We'll do that. <coughs> so now we're going to align to a key object. A key object is an object that you want others to al other objects to align to. This can be useful <coughs> excuse me, when, you're, when you want to align a series of objects and one of them is already in the perfect position. You specify a key object by selecting all the objects you want to align, including the key object, and then clicking the key object again. I've said key objects a lot here in the last few seconds. Next, you'll align some buttons <coughs> to a part of the game console using a key object. Choose one postcard front from the artboard navigation menu. <coughs> <clears throat> Click one of the green game buttons in the bottom half of the artboard. That's one of these little dudes right here. <laughs> See the first part of the following figure. Uh, never mind. I, blah, blah. Shift and then click the other one. So hold down the shift key and click the other one. says, oh, oh, shift click the other green button and the pink shape behind them to select all three. I didn't click the pink shape. So now all three are selected. I confused myself. Make sure to release the shift key after you do that. The buttons need to align to the pink shape because that shape is already where it needs to be. It can't move. You'll make the pink shape the key object so the buttons align to it. So then click the pink shape. That object's now the key object. When selected, the key object has a thick outline indicating the other. I wonder if I was supposed to keep, I think I was supposed to click that pink shape, not this one, this one. Uh, click this vertical center align button. Whoop. Nope. Did that wrong. Undo. I had that, I think it's this one. Let's see. Nope. What am I doing? Hang on, let me let me regroup here. Uh, let's do this. Let's do select, deselect everything. We're gonna start this over here. Click a green game button, and we're gonna hold down shift. We're gonna click the other green game button. And then, let's pick this pink shape instead of the other one. And then click that pink shape again. And now let's do that. Ah! I did it. Hopefully. Did you see what I did? I'm not going to do it again. So if you didn't, see, so rewind and do it again. Ah. Notice the shape buttons move to align to the vertical center of the pink object. That's the key object. So don't use that one up there. Use this one right here, the bright pink. It should have said the bright pink. 
We're not now going to distribute some objects. Aside from aligning, you can also distribute objects. Distributing objects means you distribute the spacing equally between the centers or edges of those objects. For instance, maybe you have a series of icons in a web page design that need to be spaced evenly. Next, we're going to make the spacing between shapes the same. Choose three pieces from the navigation menu down here. Three pieces. <clears throat> Choose select and then dots. And we're going to select those white shapes again. Click the More Objects in the Align section of the Properties panel. It's probably those three dots right there. Click the Horizontal Distribute Center button. And that one is going to be Horizontal Distribute center that's that one and it, you saw if you didn't see it did move some over you're going to need to hide the panel to continue to do that press the escape key and that hid this over here i won't always tell you to hide those panels so it's a good habit to get into distributing the, this way moves all the selected shapes except for the first and the last so that their centers are spaced an equal distance apart this looks okay, but you need the shapes to be closer so you can set that distance using distribution. With those shapes still selected, click the leftmost shape to make it the, the key object. Click the More Options in the Align panel. Ensure that the Distribute Spacing value is 7 pixels. So we're going to change this to 7. And then click the Horizontal Distribute space button horizontal distribute Hang on. horizontal distribute space that one right there look at there move them all in closer together distribute spacing distributes the spacing between selected objects whereas the Distribute Objects options distributes the spacing between the center points of selected objects. The value you can, you can set is a great way to set a specific distance between objects. Click the Group button in the Properties panel. I need to hit Escape for, hang on, let me get over here. Hit Escape and that will move that away again, remember. We're going to click Group. That's going to group the shapes together. As I said before, you'll learn more about groups in a few sections. Choose Select, Deselect, and then let's choose File and Save. And this is a great time to end this video.